thick, lustrous lashes, not an ounce of makeup. Oh, oh. God, Mr. Clench, he's a natural. He's got it, you know, that thing. He's he's intense with a big personality, and yet, and yet he's totally accessible. He's he's Sandra Bullock. <laughs> He's just a pig. Yeah, and Dixie is just a cup. <laughs> Mr. Clench, my paper wouldn't have sent me all the way down here if he was just a pig. This is classic human interest. I mean, come on. He falls off a truck, walks 600 miles to find his way back to you. Well, pigs is good thinkers. <laughs> then, on the way through Utah, he stops and saves a little boy from drowning. Well, pigs is good swimmers. So now, where was he going on this truck? Hormel. Hormel. Well, pigs is good eating. Hormel, Hormel, the spam Hormel? You mean they were gonna? What do you think they was gonna do with him? Well, well, I don't know. I mean, I mean, look at him. He's very attractive. I thought maybe they could use him as a spokes model. <laughs> You know, I've raised me about a thousand pigs, and I've yet to have one land a modeling contract. <laughs> now, my brother Drew, he had a pig he liked to put in a dress. Of course, that ended in tears, as those things always do. Yeah, save that story, okay? I want to know what your plans are for this guy now. Tomorrow, the truck comes back. They give me $200, they get the pig. Gah! How can you do that? Snowball saved a toddler's life. He, he struggled his way back to you, guided only by his keen instincts, his natural cunning, and your rather unique odor. <laughs> Mr. Clench, how can you ignore what is obviously a metaphysical connection to this pig? I mean, come on. Can you not see the hand of God at work in here? So what you're saying is, the right thing to do yes. is eat them myself. How's 250 sound? Soul. We're going with your pictures and my copy down to layout. We're going to put Snowball on page one. No way. Well, how could we not? I mean, look at him. He's everything you could ever want in a celebrity. He's handsome, he's heroic, and he admits he's a pig. <laughs> <laughs> he's something, isn't he? I mean, am I nuts, or does this guy have charisma? Oh, Snowball is a good, good boy. Yes, he is. Morning, Ethics. Hey, hey Camilla. <laughs> wow. Well, here's a sentence I never thought I'd say. I, I love your pig. Yeah, well, get in line. You should have seen him with the girls in accounting. I'm still wiping lipstick off him. Well, what's his story? He's a hero. He saved someone's life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about him. He's the Larry Hagman organ donor. No, he isn't. So, uh, is he yours? Uh-huh. <laughs> My picture's gonna be in the comet with them. Oh, la di da. Aren't you gonna be impossible to live with? You don't think it's crossing the line, do you? We'll see. Listen, next Saturday night. Yeah. Kodak is having this kind of um, awards dinner thing, and they want to give one to me. Why? <laughs> and of course, congratulations. And <clears throat> why? You know, it's not one of these tabloid shots. It's more of a sort of a thing with snow and, and trees and, and kittens. Oh, did Nikki take a picture of the kitties in the snow? Yeah, but I <laughs> swear to you, it was an accident. I was aiming up Jane Seymour's skirt. <laughs> yeah, right. OK, listen, anyway, oh. kind of a big deal. My mom is going to be there, and I would like her to think that I, I know some nice girls, you know, because the last one that she met wasn't even this well-behaved. <laughs> wasn't this pretty. Or smelled this good. So. Are you asking me out on a date? No. Hmm. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not a date. It's just a thing. It's a thing that you would get dressed up at and you would act like you're with me. That's a date. Nikki's asking me out on a date. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
just a friend helping a friend. Will you do it? No, I don't know. Of course I'll do it. But you're gonna have to wear a tie. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Not going. All right. All right? Nikki's wearing a tie. Nikki's wearing a tie. This is a pigsty! <laughs> you are going to have to start picking up after yourself. This ain't a bed and breakfast, honey. Okay. Tell me I just stepped into a heaping portion of warm apple cobbler. Oh. <laughs> hey, Nora, can you open up? <sighs> Pig. Landlord. Not good. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, baby. Uh, okay. Okay, now watch this. Best as you possibly can. Act like an ottoman. Oh. Yeah? Hey, I got about 20 of these things down in the lobby addressed to a snowball. Oh. Are you going by the name Snowball now? Because <laughs> I know another girl named Snowball, dancer, works down at Central Park Chest. <laughs> The strip joint? Hey, Central Park Chest is a gentleman's club. And I go there every Wednesday night. Of course, ha, I tell Mrs. Donner I'm going to the racetrack, you know, because it helps explain the flecks of mud on my face. <laughs> Incidentally, your ottoman is eating your shoe. Oh, Snowball! Nora, you know the rules. I only allow cats in this building. That is a cat. That is no cat. Oh, that's a cat, all right. And if you don't think so, maybe I could get Mrs. Donner up here and ask her if she thinks it's a cat. And while we're examining that, maybe we could talk about Wednesday nights and exactly which fillies you've been putting your dollars on. Pretty kitty. Damn straight. Oh, Mr. Donner, would you get that? Yeah. Hi, I'm Sarah Purcell. Is this the home of the hero pig? There he is. Roll on the pig, Jimmy. Uh, Miss Purcell, come on. This is my home. What's going on? Haven't you seen the morning paper? No. Somebody got to it before me. Wire services picked up the snowball story off the tabloids. He's in about 700 papers across the country. There's something about him that connects with people, specifically young adults, 18 to 49. Tell us about it. Well, he's really just your average, normal pig. But... What the heck is... We want the pig! Oh, my God, it's the people from Hormel! We want Snowball! Yeah, well, you can't have him! He's mine! Leave us alone! My God! Sarah, what kind of people would go to these lengths for, for just one cute little pig? We are from the Walt Disney Company. Do you think all this media attention is going to change your lives? No, 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 no. Sarah, I don't think you know us very well. Oh, great. Oh, he looks so much more relaxed. Yeah. Oh, listen, when you see Madonna, tell her thanks so much for switching appointments with them, really. <laughs> Nora, I've got the Letterman people on line three. They want to fly you and Snowball in on Monday. Do they know we did Leno last night? They don't care. OK. Uh, but no pet tricks. We do panel. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Line one is a development guy from ABC. Does Snowball have a pilot deal? But he's considering offers. They want to pitch a series. OK. Uh, a pig and his friends, they sit around, eat slop, oink about nothing. <laughs> Want to call it Swinefeld. Pasadena. Pasadena, Stu. Hey, Teach, is Nora here? Who wants to know? Yeah, right. 
What are you doing? It's policy, man. I'm just helping Snowball out with security. <laughs> oh. TJ, you're not that good at that. Uh, Dave, you copy? I got a situation. Roger, TJ, coming over, got my hand. Yeah! <laughs> okay, that's the last time. From now on, I hold the stun gun. Please don't. I like it. You have TJ and stupid Dave on security? Yeah. Wow, you must sleep like a baby. <laughs> All right, listen. Which tie should I wear to the awards thing? Like Chloe, that? Chloe, what do you think about this for Letterman? Ooh, gray on pink? Mm, too preppy, right? Yeah. Nora, what's the deal here with the swine massage? Well, Snubble's been very stressed out lately. You know, what with the personal appearances and photo sessions. It's hard being a star. A star? Nora, he's the other white meat. Would you stop it? He happens to be carrying a lot of stress in his back. Oh. Oh, you mean up here in the wiener and baloney area? <laughs> Laura, come on. You, you're not going to get weird on me now. You're not going to let this little stroll through the limelight warp your perspective, are you? Uh, Nikki, I have worked in the media my whole life. I think I'm savvy enough not to go Hollywood just because I'm having my 15 minutes of fame. Don't you mean the pig's 15 minutes of fame? Whatever. Nora, I've got a call on line six. Calvin Klein wants to do a series of billboard ads with the pig. How old is he? Three. Three. No, that's too old. This is the one we've been waiting for. Sly wants you at the Planet Hollywood opening. <gasps> Planet Hollywood? Oh, that's a perfect place for Snowball to wear the cowboy boots that Steven Seagal sent him. <laughs> Save it, hon. I gotta take this one. Oh, and will you grab me a Perrier? What a night. <laughs> They're calling it the biggest Planet Hollywood opening since, since, since the last one. <laughs> Snowball was a hit. I was a hit. I'm surprised you guys weren't there taking pictures. We had a previous engagement. Oh, too bad. Anyway, you know, I used to think this whole celebrity restaurant thing was just a bunch of bull. But after tonight, I am whistling another tune. I mean, Getting to know these people has really changed my preconceptions about them. Bruce Willis, good singer. <laughs> Demi Moore, they're real. <laughs> and Arnold, Arnold hates Hitler. Didn't you forget something tonight, Nora? What? Oh, no, no, the awards dinner. And he wore a tie. <sighs> oh, my God. Nikki, I've done it. I've become a Hollywood schmuck. <sighs> Look, I am so sorry. I'm really sorry. I, I was going to leave early, but then everyone was having such a good time, and I was talking to all these cool people, and I was having one of the best times of my life, and, and this probably isn't making you feel much better, is it? Not a lot. Nice tie. Oh, you told me I would change. You saw it coming, didn't you? You ever watch a show when you were a kid? A show called Otter Boy? Otter Boy? Sure. It was about that kid that lived in Lake Ontario. He's an orphan raised by otters. I lived in a, in a hut of mud and sticks with his best friend... Um, Nick Nick. Nick Nick, right. <laughs> the one-footed Indian girl. Sure. Man, that show sucked. I know. So, what's the connection? Kukwa, kukwa. Nick, 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 Nick. Oh, my God! You were Otter Boy! Shh. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. 
Yes, I was Otter Boy. For 26 weeks, I was the most famous kid in America. And I got a big head, and I acted like a jerk. See, fame is like dope. You get a little, you act like a dink. Then you want more, you act like a bigger dink. You calling me a dink? Yes, I am. Okay. The thing is, fame doesn't last. One week I'm on top of the world, and then bam, they cancel my show. I'm a 10-year-old has-been. I'm a 10-year-old has-been. You know? There's nothing in the world with a shorter lifespan than an American celebrity. Whatever happened to Nick Nick? Actually, Nick Nick is Sharon Stone, which kind of kills my whole point. <laughs> Nora, I have to talk to you. Hi. Uh, oh, great dress. Listen, doll, um, it's better that you, you hear this from me than out on the street. There's some, there's some rumors about Snowball. What? Well, it's just talk uh, around town. They're saying that, um, they're saying that your pig might, um, well, eat from the other end of the trough, if you know what I mean. Actually, I haven't a clue what you mean. I, I mean, might, might, might wallow with those of his own gender. Might um, prefer the hog to the sow. Might be a little light in the hooves. <laughs> They're saying Snowball is gay? Now look, darling. I truly believe that sexual preference matters not a whit. It is, however, the dirt. And we at the Comet are in the business of printing the dirt, so... Am I really hearing this? Mm. You're thinking of outing my pig? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I failed to see what is so funny. Um. Camilla, the whole thing is funny! You, you and I built them up, so I guess you and I can tear them down. A gay pig! <laughs> <laughs> Camilla, excuse me. Come on, Nikki. Let's Look. go. Let's go get Snowball. He's got $50,000 in appearance money. Okay. We'll give it to the first farmer that agrees to let Snowball live with them forever. And then Snowball can have the life he was meant to have. And I can have the life that I was meant to have. And neither one of us will ever have to sing Proud Mary with Bruce Willis again. I wish somebody had done that for me. Oh, Otter Boy. No, wait. These guys don't know about that, okay? Okay. Kukwah! Okay. Kukwah! <laughs> is his pal and she's a monoped. Oh my god. Who opened this? Snowball? Nikki Snowball got out. Snowball! 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 I'm so very sorry. Nora! Nora! What? Uh, I'm sorry. I had to do it. Do what? We're Snowball. <laughs> Did you eat it? No! <laughs> Evening, Missy. What are you doing here, Clench? I come from a pig, the pig you stole from me. Stole? Ha! Hey, who let you in here? I had to. He had a court order. Mr. Clench can prove ownership of the animal, can you? I bought him. You have a receipt? No. Yeah. Who are you? I'm an attorney. My name is Johnny Cochran. <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, it's been great for business. We'll just take possession of Mr. Clench's beloved pet, and we'll be on our way. Beloved pet? He sold him to slaughter. He was gonna have him killed. Well, that'd be pretty stupid now, wouldn't it? I mean, Snowball looks to be about a seven-figure pig these days. We're gonna have him do some cigarette ads and some infomercials. In fact, we just got an offer for him to do an adult video with John Wayne Bobbitt. <laughs> A pig porno? What are you, Satan? We're getting out. We don't want to be famous anymore. Oh, don't worry. You won't be. It's my turn now. I believe you're what we in the industry refer to as a has-been. Like Otter Boy. Who? Yes. Yes, Nikki, like Otter Boy. A and what was Otter Boy always singing? Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, the animals have never fear, cause their friend Otter Boy is here. here. Nick, Nick, get the pig! Oh,
I'm doing it because, damn it, I love that cat. <laughs> So, what is fame? To some, it's the glittering prize that comes with a successful career. To others, it's a crummy TV series starring Debbie Allen and a bunch of kids who have never been seen again. Yes, fame is a cruel mistress. It can change you, change you into something strange, change you into something virtually unrecognizable. Just ask Michael Jackson, or me, or a pig named Snowball. Snowball spit isn't even dry yet. Hey, Nora, I threw out that pile of rags from the basket Snowball used to sleep in. Snowball never slept in a basket. Hey, Mr. Donner, that basket is my laundry hamper. See? That's you? God, he hasn't even been gone a day, and the place just feels so empty. Hey, well, he was a very special little guy. Wasn't he? Yeah, it's something, you know? Yeah. Like a little light in his eye, a talent yeah. for touching people, and <laughs> evidently a supernatural sense of direction. <laughs> Mr. Donner, you want to go for a drive? Sure. Yeah. 